Hey everyone, it's Macro Geek. Um, interesting discussion on one of the retro handheld forums tonight. Um, I was talking about playing Dreamcast games, and somebody was like, well, you're having audio stutter. Do you use CHD or GDI files? Because CHD are compressed hunks of data, um, which is a MAME format, and it's handy because you can crunch multiple audio tracks or playlists or whatever into one big chunk that's easier to manage. But it does mean that the device has to uncompress that on the fly. Also, CHD by default tends to turn convert audio tracks into FLAC, which again can be a little bit hard for a CPU to, to uh, decompress. So it made me think, I should try a test where we use a GDI version and a CHD version of the same game and see what happens. So we played, every time I've tested Crazy Taxi so far, it's been the, um, the CHD version. So I'm going to do a quick test with CHD and then I'm going to switch to the GDI and we'll see um, by watching the frame rate counter whether it's better or worse. Oops, wrong button. So you just heard the audio break up there. It does it every time. Go ahead and pick a car and driver. Excellent. All right, let's get it on. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, come here. So we're 26, 27, 22 FPS. I'm going to go to the cable car and then I'll stop. 27, 31, 30. It usually goes down to about 24 when you get up here to the barrier. Yeah, 22, 23. Okay. So now, let's try the uncompressed GDI gigabit sized file. These files will be bigger in your storage. I don't know if it's going to help or not, but we'll find out. No stutter. All right, that's promising. Go ahead and pick us. All right, let's get it on. Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, come here. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, here we go. 35. Do we slow down to 24 when we get up here to the barrier? No. We st it stayed at 30 plus all the way through. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep going down the hill because there's normally a couple of audio breakup points. Basically, when you get to the second jump on the hill. So let's go and see what happens with that. Still drop down to 23. All right, so this isn't a total fix. It's slightly better, but it's not. All right, I don't think it's a fix. I'm gonna try this on the RG351P now and see if it makes any difference over there.
and we are on Arcos 1.6 and we're going to use the updated Flycast 32 core. I went the wrong way around. All right, so first CHD version. I don't have a frame counter on this. It's not supported in um, in this version of the core. So we're just gonna have to gauge whether it feels smoother or not. So I'm mainly going to listen for audio stutter. There it was. Yeah, a little bit there. Okay. Well, let's try it with the other one. This will be the GDI version. I heard some audio break up there. I think it's there every time though. Uh, this might be a little smoother. I don't know. I'm going by feel. I don't have a frame rate counter. Should break up at the bottom of the hill. Stutter. Right about there. No. I don't think I've ever played this and not had the audio break on the hill there. I think this is better. The audio is not nearly as glitchy. Yeah. And realize that it's always going to be glitchy in emulation because not, most handhelds can't do the, um, the DSP uh, emulation well for the Dreamcast, so there's some audio tricks that don't work emulated. I have to say, I think that's better. So, at least on the 351P, I think there was a marginal improvement using the GDI file over the CHD file. Maybe it's me tricking myself, maybe it's a placebo effect, but I don't know. Um, I think the next game to test this with is probably Sonic Adventure 2 because that intro level where you ski down the hill, um, 
it has major slowdown in the turns and audio artifacting. So that might be something to test next. I don't know if we'll get to it or not, but um, maybe try it with your favorite game and tell us in the comments whether you felt GDI or CHD was better. Um, and remember CDI files, if you find a CDI file for Dreamcast, those are from the days when people would rip uh, gigabyte um, GD-ROM and they would try and put it on a CD for burning. So those always are compromised because the audio has to be compressed or parts of the files have to be reduced to fit on a CD-ROM. Something's left off. So they're not, you probably don't want to use those today. But anyway, um, I think this is a fun experiment. So be interested in hearing your feedback and your experience and what handheld you're using. So leave that in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.